Understand when the governor came into office, people making more than a million dollars got a $40,000 a year tax cut. That's what they got. Everyone else's property taxes went up 20% because he cut rebate programs, he's cut funding for schools, he's cut municipal aid. So I've agreed with the governor on one thing. There's extra money. I've agreed with him that there's extra funding. I'm taking his numbers. When you hear these commercials where the governor says, the Senate and President and I agree, we don't. His is based on income taxes where all the money's, the lion's share of the money goes to wealthy. Ours is based on property taxes where all the money goes to people under $250,000. So I mean, it's that simple. And I don't begrudge people that are wealthy. God bless people that are successful. You know what I mean? You know, some, some of it's by luck, some of it's by hard work. But you know, when you do tax cuts, the problem with tax cuts are they, they're not given to the people that'll spend it. So our focus is putting it into the middle class because you'll actually spend it because you don't have a whole lot of disposable income laying around. So you're going to take that money and you're going to actually go you know, fix something, buy, buy a refrigerator. You're going to go spend it because you need it. And that gets back into the economy where, again, you get someone that's making over a million dollars, they're going to get $7,200 honestly. They're living okay. They're going to put it in the bank. So you don't get the benefit of the tax cut.